Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's November 9th, 2022. Day after election day. It's currently 33 degrees and there's some flurries right now. As you can see, it snowed a bit. This is our first major snow of the year. Uh, most of the time, it's just snowed, hasn't really stayed. It's immediately melted, but a little bit of it staying. And as you can see, there's some snow on the windmill palm. It's weighing down the tree a bit. The rest of these, there was a little snow on the sago and the needle earlier, but a lot of it's melted. But anyway, I'm just going to give you guys a November update. Tonight is going to get really cold, and the next week or two is going to get very cold. It's going to drop into the teens, the high to mid-teens. So everything's got to go inside, besides these two. These two will be staying out all winter. A bit of a breeze picked up, and we're expected to have some snow for most of the day. So, anyway, this is the windmill palm with snow on it. I'm going to try to get the snow off in a minute. But for now, I'm just kind of enjoying it. It's starting to melt anyway. But it's weird because this morning and last night, it was like in the uh, mid-30s and high-30s and even the low-40s. Now it's really cold. It's just getting colder as the day goes along. Anyway, here's the uh, elderberry. Looking good. Some leaf discoloration, but honestly still looking pretty full. Hasn't lost much. Nothing really to say on it. And yes, this is an elderberry. I forgot to say in my last video. This is an elderberry plant. Um, so it will produce edible fruits. And yeah, can't wait for that to happen. Don't know when it will produce though. Hopefully next year. Next to Red Delicious. The leaves are changing red. And they should be falling off pretty soon. Some are still green, but most of them are have a tint of red in them. For the black mission fig, it's gotten down below freezing a few times, so the leaves have drooped and died. And a lot of them are turning different colors, so they should be falling off soon. This guy is pretty much done for the season. Some some of these leaves still feel alive, though. That's the thing. Anyway, next is the needle palm. Nothing much to say on this. Did have some snow on it earlier, but it melted. Okay, again, everything's going in tonight. Next to the Sago, still has a little bit of snow on these new leaves. A little bit of discoloration on these new leaves, which is a little concerning. But it's going in tonight. And these are all going to be able to dry out. So yeah, nothing too new on these palms. As you can see, when you knock the snow off, the leaves just pop right back up. I'm actually surprised how heavy the snow is. It's, well, it's wet snow, obviously, but there's not a lot on the ground, so you think there wouldn't be a lot on the plants, but there is. Whew. Anyway, um, I will do a quick December update on these two, but other than that, I don't think these guys will need an update till the spring because they won't be growing at all. I'll get the rest of the snow off in a bit. They won't be growing at all. They'll be in the garage. They should be in a state of dormancy. Anyway, appreciate you guys supporting throughout this growing season. Hopefully, this will be a short winter. And we could get into our new growing season very soon. So thank you all for watching. I will do a December update on the elderberry and the red delicious apple tree. Um, but yeah, the palm trees and the fig go in tonight. Well, they're gonna actually going to go in in a few minutes. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and supporting. I'll try to post when I can. See you later.